What's going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine Old Stuff Richardson, because today we're asking the question, is the Boombox 2 still worth it to purchase in the year of 2023? Actually, the date of this video, it is almost 2024. So the Boombox 2 was launched in early 2020. So that means it is old AF. In fact, it's almost four years old. So with the Boombox 3 being released, uh, actually the Boombox 3 is almost a year old. So I looked on Amazon because I'm actually getting ready to get rid of my Boombox 2. I'm about to place it on a, a marketplace or something like that. And before you ask, no, the answer is no, I will not sell it to any one of you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm getting ready to get rid of it because I don't have a use for it anymore. And I was wondering, is this thing still like, does it still have value? So I had to look up the value of it and I looked on Amazon and they're still selling this thing for $300. Same, pretty much same thing on the JBL website and on eBay. So that brings the question, is it still worth purchasing today in uh, late or mid December of 2023? Let's just call it 2024. Is this still uh, worth purchasing being that the Boombox 3 is only a year old on the market. Well, it's not even a year old yet. It's like almost a year old, but the price of the Boombox 3 on Amazon right now is $400. So if you got $300 and that's all you can spend, yeah, man, you need to get yourself a Boombox 2. But if you can spare the extra bill, I would say, hey man, why not get the best in the in the JBL space as far as like what the boom box is. This is the boom box three right here. And it is one hell of a speaker. Stay tuned for the next video or so where I actually revisit this thing to talk about it, what it's been like for uh, actually having it for a year. Cause it's, it's almost a year old at this point, but we're actually talking about the boom box too. And is it still worth it? Well, in my opinion, I just told you that if you could actually spare the extra hundred dollars, oh man, it's a hundred dollars is a lot of money. So if you could actually spare it, if you have it to spend, I would say go ahead and level up to the boom box three. Not only are you getting a more current speaker, but you're also getting that dedicated racetrack subwoofer they crammed off in there. And you're getting the, the like the, I call it an upgrade in the power brick because instead of having a power brick uh, to charge your boom box two, it's now inside of the boom box three. And you only have that one AC cable that you just plug in. So there's quite a few things that will give, that you get for the extra hundred dollars, such as the racetrack subwoofer, Woofer and you know, now you have a crossover and a dedicated subwoofer where bass literally comes out, okay? <laughs> In addition to all the other ones that the boom box include, but you also get, well, it is heavier because the charging brick is actually inside and, but all you have to carry around is that cable. They both still have the 24 hour battery life. So the battery life is pretty much still the same, but the big difference, what some would say is the sound. Now I've done a sound comparison of both of these on my other channel, so you can just go back and watch that. But some of you say you really do appreciate the sound of the Boombox 2 because you said that the Boombox 3 was a little, uh, let's say harsh or tinny because you know the tweeters and the crossover and everything. But in my opinion, that can be kind of changed and adjusted through the three band EQ that they give you. I actually like the sound of the Boombox 3 a little bit more because you, I feel like you don't get more bass in it. Uh, okay, maybe it's just a tad, just a, just a tad more bass, just, just a little bit, man. It ain't going, look, if you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison, you'll probably notice just a tad bit more bass, but once you take it home, and all you have is one speaker, you will not notice a difference. You will not care, okay? But I think the highs are just a little bit better with the uh, Boombox 3. But the Boombox 2 coming in at $300 on Amazon and pretty much everywhere else you can find it on the internet brand new, in my opinion, is a real solid choice. You got a durable IP rating. You got a long battery life. Should you not play this thing at full blast? If you play it at full blast, you're gonna crunch that battery life down to damn near nothing. But if you actually listen responsibly, you're going to get the full battery life out of this thing. You're going to get fantastic JBL Pro Sound, okay? All you JBL lovers out there, you know what I'm talking about. But then you also get a fantastic build quality. This is one of the, if not the, like, top best built speakers out there. You just get good quality build materials. You get plastics, quality plastics, you get fabrics, and you get a little bit of rubber or neoprene bump stops right there to protect itself should you drop it or bump it during your travels. But the ultimate question still remains for some people. Is it worth it? Look, it's four years old. There's been a lot of speakers that come out, especially in the Soundcore offerings, right? 
I'm still saying it's worth it in 2020, late 23, early 2024, even though it's four years old. Like when it comes to sound and speakers, right? JBL and a lot of the other big companies, they only drop speakers every two years. So the difference between this is only two years, even though this one is four years. But how much technology has changed in the sound market? Not a whole lot, man. All they did was add another woofer to it. So if you're talking about the JBL Boombox 2 competing with today's release of speakers, it's got up to speed Bluetooth codecs and stuff like that. It's got the sound, like the sound is the most important thing. The build quality would be next, or maybe let's say battery life will be next. It's up there. There's not many things competing with that same battery life at this size. And then of course you got the build quality and stuff. So yeah, man, it is definitely worth it in my opinion for even the $300 price tag that they're offering it for right now. In fact, when these things release, they're always $500. You get $499 on the price tag plus tax. So the fact that they're shaving, um, $200 off this thing simply because the Boombox 3 exists, it's almost a no-brainer unless you got that extra $100 so you can get the Boombox 3. We'll be having this discussion in about a year when I'm talking about is the Boombox 3 still worth it? It, it will be still worth it. At that point of time, you might have gotten rid of a Boombox 2 or you might not want to purchase it in, a, in another year or so. But as for right now, in late December 2024, Hey man, if you got the cash, I say go for it. In fact, while you're shopping for this thing, go ahead and click my link because I get paid millions. Yes, millions of dollars per click. Every time you click one of my links, <laughs> I get paid millions of dollars, man. So go ahead and make your boy rich. Now I'm just clowning, man. You buy this thing wherever you want to buy it from, but it does help out when you click my links. But either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is the JBL Boombox series is a, is like a beast of a series of speakers. Every time they come out with one, it, it actually is better than the last one. But the Boombox 2 still hangs in there with the Boombox 3. And if this is the one you want, I say go for it, man. Unless you got an extra $100 just to throw away. Well, you won't be throwing it away because you're getting your money's worth. It's just... Man, that's a small margin, man. But then again, $100 is a lot of money for some people, man. So that's a tough decision to make. But you heard it here, man. The Boombox 2 is still a worthy adversary in today's Bluetooth speaker market. Now, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.